the French Quarter. It's the hub of the wheel of South Louisiana culture. It's historic, it's electric, and it's a hedonist paradise. A place human cravings come to be satiated. Whatever your hunger, you might have it when you come, but you won't when you leave. Especially if it's for the best food in America. And it's not a coincidence that every spoke on the wheel leads to bountiful marshes that spill endless supplies of fish, shrimp, crab, and more onto the plates of voracious consumers. Rooted in what was once the nation's largest port town, Early New Orleans chefs blended herbs and spices from all over the world into Creole dishes that didn't exist anywhere else and tasted like heaven on a plate. Yum. 10 out of 10. Their descendants continue to tinker with these culinary gems, refining them for today's sophisticated palates and producing world-class dishes they serve daily to locals and tourists alike. So we're getting to go behind the scenes at one of the French Quarter's premier restaurants, Bourbon House, thanks to a program that's also available to you. We're here talking about the Catch and Cook program, which is through Louisiana Wildlife and Fisheries. It combines two of our most favorite things about Louisiana, and we are the sportsman paradise, so that includes fishing, and we love to eat. So, you know, there's the saying that at lunch we talk about what's for dinner, and it's true. It's really, it's what happens. So this is the combination of those two things. People can go fishing, and they can bring that fish to world-class chefs and bring it into the restaurant and come have a world-class dining experience with fish that they caught. I mean, you're used to cooking your own fish at home, but this actually, you get to catch it, and then you get to see what somebody else who's a trained culinary professional does with your food. And it's amazing what these chefs can do. On our website, bourbonhouse.com, under events, you can click on that, and there's a whole catch and cook link, and it will give you all the details of what you need to do to participate in this wonderful program. This episode of Marshman Masson brought to you by Pugliese Sporting Goods. We just took a little water, white wine, butter, um, a little bit of fresh lemon, and some fresh thyme, and just kind of brought it up slowly, the temperature. Um, just raised it up until it was just cooked through. That's it, okay? We just want it to be pretty easy to flake. The flake, okay. What's your ultimate plan with this? We're gonna do something I like to do called uh, chips and caviar. Um, we do it as an appetizer here for catching cooks. Um, a lot of the time, people really enjoy it. Now, is this a menu item or is this something you do specially? It's something that kind of just came up just for the catch and cook. Okay. Um, I think it really showcases the, the freshness of the fish. We cook it super simple um, and just mix a little bit of ingredients together. Um, and put it on top of some chips, a little caviar just to make it fancy. Okay. So we just take the fish, um, we'll throw it in a bowl. Um, kind of flake it a little bit just with the back of a spoon. We kind of pull vegetables that are seasonal or fresh, um, but you want lots of flavor, some crunch, some freshness. So we have some fennel that I just um, shaved really, really thin. Um, it gives it a little bit of a bite, a little bit of an anisette kind of flavor. Some shallots, um, sliced tomatoes. You just want something small so if they take a bite off a potato chip, it's not chunky and then with the celery i really like to use the inner parts of the celery for a fresh salad because the leaves give it so much flavor huh. and okay. you get that fresh celery flavor fresh dill which is one of my favorite things in the whole world probably my favorite herb and some parsley we dress it this is our house dressing it's a uh, bourbon vinaigrette um, we just take a pretty classic vinaigrette recipe a little bit of creole mustard in there um, some bourbon cane vinegar oil and just emulsify a little dressing uh, and we just mix it up a little seasoning salt pepper we have a little uh our house seasoning blend uh, it's just a mixture of different peppers white red black onion garlic salt super wow. simple okay really fresh uh, and then we got some potato chips for this dish i like to cut our potato chips our potatoes the long way uh, it gives it a little more room for the uh, dip to kind of sit. So we have some just potato chips we've fried, lightly salted, 
since the salad is also salted and the caviar has a little bit of, you know, saltiness to it as well. And we'll take that trout and just kind of place it on top of the chips. When we do these ketchup cooks, we kind of, you know, use this as our first course. And it kind of just gets them excited, you know, for the rest of their meal. They caught this fish. It's really simple and fresh. They get to really see how fresh the fish is. And then just a little local caviar, kind of, uh, like I said. Make it a little more elegant. Make it a little more elegant. Um, it gives a really nice bit of um, seasoning to it. It's really pretty. This goes really well with some sparkling wine, champagne, something like that. This is awesome. All right, you mind if I sample it or what? No, please, dive in. Wow, that's really, really good. It's really subtle. Definitely taste the fresh herbs in there. That's very, very good. Thank you, yeah. Let me tell you, Chef Devin has set the bar extremely high. I don't know how he can do better than that, but we'll see. I'm very, very excited for the main course. This is something we do here at Bourbon House. It's on our menu. Um, it's real fresh. It's kind of uh, real light, but this trout is such a delicate fish. I think this goes really well um, with speckled trout. So. It's called uh, fish and papio, which means in paper. Uh, we make a little bag out of parchment paper and cook the fish and vegetables inside. So uh, pretty simple. It's not much technique involved. Once you get it in the bag and get it sealed up, it's almost, you can't go wrong. You can set a timer and forget it. So we have some fresh vegetables right now. You know, it's the end of winter, beginning of spring. Um, right now, cauliflower and broccoli are your biggest, um, hardier vegetables and carrots that are still coming out of the ground. So we just take a little bit of those. Um, some shiitake mushrooms, I think, add just a nice savoriness to the dish. Okay. Uh, your other vegetables are really sweet. Um, and just some onion for flavor. Um, we'll put a little oil just to season them up, coat them with some oil, salt, pepper, and our Creole seasoning again. Just a quick, just to toss them up. So we take our piece of paper. You could use, honestly, a, bla a brown paper bag. I've seen people do it, Wow. Okay. you know, with a lunch bag. But we take this parchment paper. We just, um, you know, make a little half moon. Put our vegetables down at the bottom. So you still want some space on the outsides. Okay. So we can fold the bag up. Um, the top of the bag, we're going to just take a little bit of oil and kind of just mix it around just so nothing sticks. Okay. Um, so we got some speckled trout fillets, and these are a little smaller fillets, you know? So in this dish, you're not searing it, you're not frying it, you're not sauteing it. So a piece, you know, you can add a couple pieces in there, and they'll cook perfectly fine together. And then we'll lightly season that fish too. Again, salt, I like to do salt, pepper, and some Creole seasoning. Um, a little bit of butter, because butter makes everything better. Obviously, it's like crap. Um, and we're in New Orleans, <laughs> and you know, butter is kind of the thing we do here. Absolutely. And some lemon. Um, fish and lemon go really well together. And we were talking earlier, dill, um, again, is a wonderful flavor for fish. And we'll kind of just lay it on top, and that's gonna, as it's cooking, kind of the butter will melt, the lemon juice will come out, and all the uh, flavors will go together. And now we're just gonna fold it up. You just want it sealed, so that steam is what's gonna cook your fish. Okay. And your vegetables. We're gonna stick it right in the oven. It's gonna go in like 400. About 10 minutes, 10 to 10 11 minutes. minutes. Okay. That'll be perfect. This episode of Marshman Masson brought to you by Matrix Shad and by Magnolia Vodka and by Fitzgerald Fishing and by Versamax Corks and by Death Grip Jig Heads. Now is the point of like some of the best smells in the world. We just kind of take a little knife Pop the top. And it's, it's this is one of my favorite smells ever. Hold that back, and then I'll, the dill kind of wilts, so we'll replace it with something a little fresher. 
stick it on a plate, and we just serve it with some crab boiled potatoes. So we got some potatoes here. That is exactly how we serve it here, yeah, at the Bourbon House. Wow. Well, you know. Do we have a fork somewhere? Oh, yeah, let me grab them. Let me go up and get one. You can stay here. Look at the steam coming off of that. All right, this is speckle trout I caught three days ago. Kept it on ice so it was nice and fresh when I gave it to Chef Devin. In the hands of a skilled chef, let's see how good it is. Mm. Look, I probably wouldn't tell you if it wasn't good, but it's really good. <laughs> so Chef Devin, you're not from here. I'm not. But how not. cool is it for you to be able to do what you love in a place with incredible natural resources. Yeah, I mean, it's great. It's coming from New England. Uh, we fish a lot, and you know, uh, there's definitely a lot more fishing going on down here. I and mean, I think we've got the world's best fisheries in our backyard. Why don't we, you know, use them? Let, and that's a kind of my uh, vision here at Bourbon House. Let the food speak for itself. You know, the fish is so fresh, so flavorful. Let that come through and just a little bit of seasoning here and there. Let it speak for itself. And it does. It definitely does. And, and I appreciate that. So many people, particularly home cooks, try to overpower fish. And that's really a big mistake. I'm kind of a foodie. <laughs> I don't have your level of technique. However, um, I know good food. And this is good food. Appreciate it. Thank you so much. Man, Chef Devin definitely had some bad skills. But now that you've seen those two dishes prepared, Hopefully you feel confident enough to do it at home. Or better yet, head on over to Bourbon House yourself and have Chef Devin make them for you. The Catch and Cook program is something great we have here in South Louisiana that not enough people take advantage of. Well, this video was definitely a little bit different than what we normally do, but if you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. Also, subscribe to the Marshman Masson channel on YouTube. And don't forget to hit the notification bell so you'll be notified whenever we post a new video. And until next time, if we don't see you in the marsh or in Chef Devin's kitchen, We'll see you right here on Marshman Masson.